Hey everybody, welcome back to our show this week. You know what, we're up early again. It is about 12.30 a.m. and we're heading over to Iowa to actually fish with some people we've never fished with before. Hooking up with Aaron Hill and they are on a great perch bite. They're also getting quite a few yellow bass, which typically we do not catch a lot of yellow bass on our systems. And they're on a pretty good walleye bite. So I'm pretty excited. You know, I was up on the Wolf River yesterday guiding and uh, I feel a little bit sluggish today for sure. You know, of course, again, it is 12.30, now it's 12.32. And uh, you know what, I'm not as young as I used to be. It's a little bit harder going on this, uh, you know, two, three hours of sleep, running and gunning, but you know something, life is short and I'm gonna take advantage of every minute I can. Hey everybody, again, welcome back to our show. I appreciate you guys watching today and I think it's gonna be a heck of a good day. Hang on to your heinies. fish all over the place and we checked multiple holes and, and yeah, uh, just they're guide. there they just hopefully their mouths will be open right today. I mean hey that's fishing I think the weather's been like this I mean we had wind yesterday yeah. we've, it's been cold like this so we've had three four days of consistent weather so I don't okay I don't think that it's gonna change any it yeah so. and, and I would agree a thousand percent I will take consistent anything consistent okay, cold exactly. warm <laughs> you know and to me a lot of times I think the fish actually bite better when it gets consistently because they're used to it, you know. That's we guide on one of the biggest lakes, and well, the biggest lake in Winnebago, or in Wisconsin, Inland, you know, Winnebago, yep. and it's been tough out there, man, big time. And you know, because it was so warm too this year, yesterday a vehicle didn't go all the way down, but it went down, and it was kind of cool because somebody uh, took a shot at, you could see a set of tracks going across this, you know, where somebody went across, right. and then like five minutes later, all of a sudden, the tracks are like, the other side of the crack are like, they're like that far, oh, that far <laughs> to the fun. left. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, when does the bite, hey, when does the bite start? You don't know? <laughs> what do you mean? You shouldn't have went to school last week so much. You'd be on that. You'd know exactly. Up 710 is when they're going to start biting. First perch of the day. What do you got on there? Yeah. A dropper, huh? Yeah, we got a little cast master with a drop chain on here. Majority of these perch have been kind of finicky. And I don't know what they're, why they like this little drop chain here. But that seems to be the ticket. Just get them to bite. They come in with a full head of steam and then they pause. So you gotta kind of, you know, jig it a little bit, get them excited, pause it and then they'll hit it. This is my favorite office I can be in right now. It's a good office. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. You know, about. we have yellow bass by us, but they're not near that big. <laughs> you know, and let's talk a little bit about, there's a big difference between white bass and yellow bass. And actually, yellow bass are very good eating. The, the meat is a, a lot firmer than a white bass, and they don't have as big a mud line in them. Boy, that is a dandy. Look how pretty they are, too. I love the way the stripes are on them things. Pretty common for you guys yeah, these to catch a lot of yellows. Yeah, now typically when we get a school in, which I don't know if there's more, he must come in by himself. No, there was like two or three and I fudged the yeah, other ones well, and finally this one, usually you know, you got get on, You get a school to come in and if you can get them to stay under you, you can just You down, can just one down after up, another. Down up, down oh, up. they're fun to catch. They Big are fighting, And they are good eating. There's no doubt about that. Hey, hey, look at I did. <laughs> finally, I got one, right? <laughs> nice. Ha, I'm on the board. Now that one's a little too small to keep, hey? Eh? Yep. Pretty fish. Two yellow bass. Nice job. Come on. Come on let's see, what, let's we see what you get. 
Oh yeah, big old yellow. Woo! <laughs> nice job, there dude. You go, buddy. Nice job. <laughs> what do you think of that? Another good eater there. <laughs> Boy, them are tiny hooks. They are tiny. <laughs> they are. I'm telling you, you gotta try it. Not quite the size we're after, but still fun to catch. <laughs> we'll let them get bigger. I had one back there I thought I was going to get, but came up on it three times. But not seeing a lot. What do you think? Yeah. You think you could take him? I think you could take him too. Especially because his glasses are fogged up. You could. Right, I'm blind. Right? Like right now, if you could have anything, like anything, what would it be? Probably a yellow bass. A what? Really? Over a hamburger? Yeah. You would take a yellow bass over a hamburger. What? How, how do you know? How do you know so much about fishing? Okay. What kind of toppings though? Pepperoni, sausage, mushrooms. Because I typically don't like beer batter. Right? I mean, because if it's good fish, you don't have to cover it up. Seems like now they're, they're picking up a little bit. Hey, were you pounding the bottom to get that fish? Yeah, I did. I was pounding the bottom a little bit, and then they come up real slow. They, they, you know, you get your aggressive jigs right. up and down, and then as soon as you see that fish come up underneath there, then you got to stop, and you got to really slow it down a little bit. And give yeah. them a chance to and hit give it. Give them a chance top. to hit it, come in there. But I think the big factor is, is we got the sun coming out. That, I, I really think that's the That's going to get them to go, huh? I think so. Yeah, that's, that's a good that's, fish. That's we'll a take, we'll take a bunch like that. We'll take some more of those. <laughs> nice. nice. Beautiful. We'll take that. <laughs> All right, our, it's our turn now. Hey, Ryder. I think my hand warmers broke open. Look at that. <laughs> Look at my hands. Oh, just... <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wow. I guess. I made a mess. Look at my hands. Oh, no. <laughs> right. Jeez. You got your nice headway. Yeah. I'm prepared. <laughs> I forgot to get a fishing license, but I got I got the tumble doubles. Here we go. Hey, Ryder. You brought me some good luck. Feels good. What do I got? Feels like a good fish. Pull the juice around. There you got wrapped around there. Ooh. Yeah, I, sh I had my deucer so far down. Boy, now what do they do? Oh. See, that's a nice perch right there. You know, we had a good window going this morning, and all of a sudden, it kind of went for about an hour, hour and a half. The fishing was on, and then it really died out. You know, and now, now we're just right around noon here, and definitely the sun peaked out for a little bit there, and then went back behind the clouds and uh, definitely I've seen a little bit more activity we just got one over there and uh, that's really what it's all about you know you got a lot of fronts that go through in the winter and uh, you know kind of just staying with it and waiting for that opportunity when that window opens that you're on it boy you can see how cold it is look at let me show you this you guys this fish hasn't even been out of the water for what a minute at the most look at it's already fro his eyes are already frosted over well, he's not going to matter where he's going. In the pan. Dude, you know, you're on TV. You're not going to say nothing? Hey, let, hey, Ryder, why don't you say hi to all your girlfriends out there? <laughs> what? How many you got? How many girlfriends you got? Zero. Zero? Are you kidding me? A guy like you, zero girlfriends? Man, he is smart. Hooked up. Oh, I tell you what, this is a good fish. Oh, that's a good perch right there. Take that all day long. Hey. I got a team, we got teamwork going here. You came in here and put a big bait on there and you attracted, you said, I'm gonna attract the fish, right? Did you or didn't you? I did. Give me this, man. Awesome. Beautiful perch there. That's what we want. There we go. Oh yeah, that boy is a fighter here. Another beautiful yellow right there. 
I'll tell you what, once you get these things fired up, they don't like to stop. The trick with these yellows is though, you got one coming in like this, you gotta get them off of there. And you gotta get right back down because there's probably another one. That's a crappie. <laughs> Come out of there, buddy. Oh, there. Look at that big old fatty. What do you got? I wanna see him. I just wanna see what you got. Oh, <laughs> yellow boss. Hold that up. Hold them up, man. Hey, what an awesome day I had today. You know, fishing was a little bit tough. I mean, the weather was super cold, super windy, but you know something? Man, you and I had a lot of fun today, didn't we? Yeah. A lot of good conversation, right? Mm -hmm. we, we beat up on uh, Thomas a little bit, right? That's mm -hmm. okay too, we're gonna hold your fish up, right? And that's what fishing's all about. It's really not always about catch, catch, catch. It's about coming out, met a new friend, bunch of new friends here, you know, got to fish Iowa, which is cool, mm -hmm. right? Was it fun? Hey, our, let me ask you this. Can we come back and do it again? Yes. That sounds awesome. Hey, I'll tell you what, let's get this one off here. And, and just remember to bring, buy a license next time. Ah, uh, you know what, <laughs> you know something? I came out here and the first thing I got all the way out on the lake out here, I forgot to get a license. Thank goodness you can go online and get a license, right? <laughs>